I'm here with Rosie and Emily and we are very sadly planning our last ever breakfast church for this season. Um, we've had a great run of breakfast church. What's been your highlight, Rosie, of breakfast church? I think for me, uh, there's two things. One of them has been seeing families worship together um, in their kind of family bubble. And I think you, we've seen children see a window into their adult's faith journey and also vice versa, adults see a window into their child's faith journey which I think is a really precious opportunity and something that can kind of be taken into the home as well. Um, and also kind of making it wider, we have a moment to connect every week where every family welcomes each other. So we might do a air high five or Mexican wave or that um, welcome each other in different languages. And I've loved um, doing that to acknowledge that we're all part of God's family together. Mm -hmm. So they're my highlights. What about you, Julia, what's your? Well, I feel like the prophetic word we had at the beginning about having breakfast with the Lord that although we've not been able to physically eat mm. a, like a physical breakfast, that we have that spiritual breakfast with the Lord each day and uh, on a Sunday and we yeah um we make the time for that there's not a better way to start the day and i love the the liturgy that's come out of that mm. and that we've shared and um, acknowledged that together as a church family it's that's been really special and something that i you know i hope that we continue to have that spiritual breakfast together all of us to have breakfast with him because jesus said come and have breakfast with me and i think that there isn't a better way to start the day and to have breakfast with the Lord by coming together as a church family, by worshipping God, by praising God, by learning more about who God is. And Jesus invites each of us to do that with him this morning. Because Jesus said, Come, Come and have breakfast with me. So, are you ready to meet God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit this morning? <laughs> Fantastic. Let's stand in your aim. Thanks. I've had quite a few favourite bits, but one of them being how much fun we've had with the Minute to Win It, everyone getting so involved each week, and then just, as Rosie was saying, seeing all the families just being able to worship in their bubbles, and just like having the calmness about it, like no one's like worrying about where the child is going to run to next. But, yeah, it's been very free space. Yeah, it's been yeah. a really free lots space. Lots of noise, lots of instruments. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I love the fact that the young, um, the young, the younger kids have been bringing their guitars in and have been joining in, and we've had a great team of worship leaders supporting mm. us and other and other helpers as well. So, so I've really enjoyed leading worship at Breakfast Church. Um, it's been such a blessing to me, and um, you can't help but be filled with joy when you're seeing like the kids and their families uh, being able to like uh, dance and play their instruments and just make a beautiful noise for the Lord. Despite not being able to sing, I think um, all the families have embraced it really well and discovered new ways to be able to worship God. And that's just been so great to be a part of. I really like Breakfast Church because I think it's fun and exciting. And even though online church is really good this past year and it's been really fun to stay connected, it's still just not the same as, um, you know, being able to see people in person. So, And also it's just great to be able to do it with my dad as well. So, yeah, it's really fun. So I really like it. I will give it a 10 out of 10. And Breakfast Club has provided a relaxed family environment where, children, where service is dedicated to the children. Also, it's been great to see families in separate bubbles worshipping and praising God. Um, not only is it beneficial for um, our children, but also for us as parents um, through learning memory verses, um, Bible challenges and learning actions to songs, which I still am not great at. Um, one of the key changes that I've no noticed in my children's life, more specifically my daughter, is, um, is the change in her prayer life. And there was an incident we had at home where her brother was poorly and the first thing that she did without anyone in the room but I overheard her was to pray for his um, healing. And um, that's one of the things they do encourage and um, in church to not only praise God but to pray and it's been a great experience um, for us as a family. Um, going to the breakfast club and we've highly enjoyed it wow. and yeah it's really sad that we're ending breakfast church now but the time is right and um, our prayer for for everybody is who's been involved in breakfast church is that you would continue to have that spiritual breakfast with the lord that you'd make that a priority for you as you go on as um in your discipleship as families <laughs>